Hello, Philip Jeffrey here, and I'm using Super Better to help with my living with cancer. I've had multiple myeloma, which is a type of blood cancer, since 2006. Since December 2010, I haven't been on any sort of treatment, so my levels have slowly been rising higher, and I decided to become part of the Super Better project in order that I could use Super Better in order to. Um, maintain my levels at a sort of a constant amount as well as be active so I'm not everyday thinking about what it's like to live with cancer. And when I was thinking about this sort of final video on how Super Better has changed my attitude towards living with cancer, I came up with another sort of uh, ideas as to how it has, has helped me. I think that it has clearly kindled my passion for life activities. Life activities, whether working out, um, using my camera, generally engaging in life outside the four walls of my, of the place where I live. And by that, I mean that I chose a project for Super Better where I would take a creative self-portrait each day. I chose and then upload it each evening. I chose to do a project because I wanted to do something that would, one, force me to leave my place. So some days when you're living with cancer, some days you just don't want to get out of bed and you won't. If you don't, you'll uh, sort of psych yourself out as to why I don't have to leave my bed. Well, my laptop's here. I have my cell phone here. I can just hide out away from the world. But choosing this project actually forced me to engage with outdoors. which so doesn't necessarily mean engage with other people, but engage with life beyond, beyond the four walls of my place. And what I found is that this sort of creative project helped not only enhance my sort of passion for life activities, but it also provided me with a sense of happiness to do things, to look at my world, to engage my world, to interact with my my campus where I'm, I'm taking all my pictures, as well as I found that I was each day focusing on ending the day on a positive note. So I've been taking photos, I've been taking pictures during the magic hour in the evening, which is sort of the final hour before sunset as well as Magic Art Final, uh, the first hour of sunrise, but I've been doing it mostly within the sort of sunset range. And I found that I've actually had to go out and see, okay, where is my picture going to be today? And I go out, find an interesting spot, take a variety of test shots until I found one that I was, that I was satisfied and encapsulated a particular uh, cool creative photo. And then I would go back home and before before midnight, I would upload it to the Super Better site. And regardless of whether I went to bed afterwards or a few hours later, I still felt really positive in, in having that sort of sense of accomplishment of doing something. Taking picture, feeling happy with picture, feeling satisfied with picture, uploading picture to Super Better site, boom, did something that day, feel satisfied, feel happy. Regarding the project, the reason why I chose this particular project of taking a creative picture each day is that I want to do something that would sort of enhance my creative thinking, where I'm always sort of trying to think outside the box, think differently, think sort of how I can take that environment and do something with it, with me in it. I I found that I'm also, because I want to take, I'm taking a self-portrait of myself I'm working out quite regularly, five, six times a week, which helps me stay in shape. Staying in shape is important for cancer or any sort of, of life-ending uh, illness that you have because, especially with, with multiple myeloma, I need to keep my bones strong. If my bones and my legs start to become brittle, then I will have problems walking if, and I can easily break my leg or something like that. And I want to sort of focus on staying healthy so that it helps me with my clear head of not only outside of the project, but helps me think of how I can be creative with my photography. I also was thinking, 
from a standpoint of after, uh, even though this is this may not, I'm not going to die tomorrow or the next day, but it will. It, it I have a shorter lifespan than than I would expect at this point in my life. I'm thinking of a legacy where I'm taking pictures that will be permanent for a long period of time, 10, 20, 30 years, for example, as long as this who better site is up, <laughs> so to speak. And I've going back to that sort of uh, idea of not only having legacy, but putting photos up on on a variety of sites like Flickr, for example. One of the positive aspects of this project I found is that it led to me sort of trying to uh, maintain my creativity beyond the Superetta site. I, shortly after the 10 or 12 days into the Superetta project, I decided to re restart my, or not restart, in a sense, I started a new 365 day project on Flickr. And that's where I gain over a period of a year, even though this Super Bear project lasts till September 1st, I'm going to continue to take creative pictures until next summer. And I'm uploading them up to Flickr, and that's something that even though I'd done in the past, mostly when I was uh, when I was on my, my cancer drugs, I'm, I felt that it was important to continue. And, and one of the problems with self-portraits is that you don't feel happy with yourself, whether outwardly how you look, being on drugs was very was very sort of humbling and it changes your appearance. But inwardly, if you don't feel satisfied and you feel sort of unhappy and want to sort of hide it from the world, then you're less likely to do something like a super bad project, which will allow you to engage your activities. And through these, I found through these sort of activities, this life activity, it has helped keep me healthy, helped keep me happy, helped keep me sort of with a positive focus on my everyday life. I am, again, going back to not only the idea of staying of fitness, being important, or I'm working out regularly, the benefit of, of the 365 project on Flickr, which I didn't expect I would restart again, as well as I found I've become a mini explorer on my campus where I'm I will get out each evening and find an interesting place to, to photograph. When I'm leaving my, my place, I have no idea what my shot is going to be. I just know that I have approximately two hours before the sun disappears. I need to figure something out. So this sort of idea of understanding my world is important for someone that's that's uh, himself to be a sort of a, a photographer or spying photographer, whatever the phrase is and that I'm understanding photography better. I'm understanding portrait photography better. I'm understanding how to take self-portraits better. I'm understanding my camera better. What that means is that, even though I've had my camera since 2000, 2010, shortly before the Olympics, I hadn't used a lot of the, of the uh, self-portrait features. Whenever I was taking self-portrait, I would use a sort of clicker to take it. And when my clicker disappeared one day, I couldn't find it. Actually, a funny story is that I somehow left my clicker in my pocket and found it later that day in the washing machine after it had gone through the wash. And thankfully, it still works. But for that particular night, I was trying to figure out how am I going to take a picture on my camera? I discovered, oh, there's this function where I can put it on and it will pause for maybe 10 seconds and then I'll take a series of 10 pictures, which I found has been actually better than the sort of, well, it depends, not really better. Sometimes I'll want to click each time to pick, take a picture or take a two second delay. Other times I'll want to sort of snap it, run down to whatever my pose is going to be, and then as it's snapping, try different sort of poses. And that sort of function, I wouldn't have found out about how did I not engage in the super better project. So. I found that also it has enhanced my confidence in not only with my photography, but my confidence in getting out there and interacting with my world. Getting back to, I was looking at the three pictures I've taken over the last three days. Uh, yesterday's picture, I sort of would theme make a wish. And as I left my house, I didn't know where I was going to go. I didn't know where, what sort of picture I was going to be. I just knew it was going to be some sort of picture outside. I wandered around and found these daffodils. I thought, oh, this would be cool. Took a couple of test shots with the daffodils and then figured what I want was one of me sort of 
blowing as if pretending to blow the daffodil with my eyes closed. And that was the sort of photograph I took. I first tried it and found that where I was angled to my body didn't like, and so I took another shot and was happy with it. Two days ago, the photograph was I sort of themed in a sea of green. I found a green patch area on campus, which looked like it was almost like it was in a field of green grass, which I had not seen before because again, leaving my place, I didn't know where I was gonna go. I didn't know what photograph I was gonna take. I came across this, this green area and I thought, let me take one of me sort of looking up to the sky. And that was that particular shot. Three days ago, I would sort of theme my photo in a quiet moment. I had thought be because I was getting close to, to sunset, it was about 8, 10 p.m. I wandered around by some trees, but I couldn't find a place where I was close to the cliff looking out onto the water. And so I went in sort of this grassy, forestry, woody area, sat in front of a tree, realized that because there was sort of bush in front of me, the picture would focus on the bushes as opposed to my face. So I sort of face, I uh, metered the point so that it'd be where I thought my face would be. Because again, with self-portraits, you can't really test it on, you can test it on yourself, but again, you have to sort of like estimate where you're going to be and then take it, take the sort of photo. Sometimes I will carry it on around my sweater and sort of like try that as a test shot as to where my head would be, where my face would be. So it's really helping me discover more about myself and learn and grow as a person. So to get back to this, this Seawrite project and how it has helped me with my cancer, I found it's been beneficial in that even though my cancer levels are high and that's a concern, I'm, I'm remaining positive and happy and I am using this project to help maintain my health at a level that I'm happy with. I'm not feeling depressed. I'm not feeling unhappy. I'm using this better to understand my world better and to, through that, understand myself. So it's really helped with photography. It's helped me as an individual. And I am really satisfied to have this opportunity. And this sort of superpower project came at the right time. It was just what I needed, sort of like kickstart uh, a little bit of negativity that was going through my life and to focus on remain positive, happy, and living each day to the fullest. So thank you. I am happy to be a part of it. And I hope to, uh, I hope generally to remain positive and happy about who I am as a person as opposed to thinking about any sort of negative aspects of living with cancer. So thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.